end of it. Um, but yes, yes, we have a friendship now. I came here to declare my candidacy. She says the physical relationship ended about eight months ago, right before Kane announced he was running for president. But the communication did not. When we asked for corroborating evidence, she pointed us to her cell phone. One name, Herman Kane. She showed us some of her cell phone bills that included 61 phone calls or text messages to or from this number starting with 678. She says it is Herman Cain's private cell phone. The calls were made during four different months. Calls or texts made as early as 426 in the morning and as late as 752 at night. The latest were in September of this year. We've never worked together. Imagine anyone uh, phoning or texting me for the last two and a half years um, just because. We texted the number and Herman Kane called us back. He told us he knew Ginger White but said these are more false allegations. He said she had his number because he was trying to help her financially. That was the end of the call. She said she planned to keep the relationship a secret while Kane made his run for the White House until she heard the allegations of sexual harassment. The accusations I absolutely reject. They simply didn't happen. She says she was not surprised by the allegations, but was bothered by the way Kane fought back, attacking the women, including this appearance on Late Show with David Letterman. All of these women are lying. They're all lying. They are all lying. Yes, they are. It bothered me that they were being um, demonized, sort of, or they were being treated as if they were automatically lying, you know, and, and the burden of proof is on them. So I, I felt very bad for them. And so she talked. I wanted to come out and give my side before it was thrown out there and made out to be something, you know, filthy, which some people will look at, it, at this and, and say, well, that's exactly what it is. Um, and I'm, I'm sorry for that. Why Before our interview, we checked into Ginger White's background. We found she filed a sexual harassment claim against an employer in 2001. That case was settled. We also found a bankruptcy filing nearly 23 years ago in Kentucky and a number of eviction notices here in DeKalb County over the past six years, the most recent this month. Ms. White says she has been unemployed and is a single mom with two kids struggling to make ends meet. I don't think that that makes me out to be a person. It makes me out to be one of the millions of people right now that are trying to keep a roof over their head. We also found a lawsuit filed by a former business partner, Kimberly Bay, who once sought a stalking temporary protective order against Ms. White for repeated emails, texts, threatening lawsuit and defamation of character. The case was dismissed, but followed by a libel lawsuit against Ms. White. A judge ordered in favor of Kimberly Bay because Ginger White failed to respond to the lawsuit. If there's a judge's order that says you've libeled someone, why should we believe that you're not libeling someone now? Well, because I admit it, whatever happened with Kim and I um, happened just as what, what, there would make no sense for me to come out with these allegations against Herman if it absolutely wasn't true. Her attorney, Ed Buckley, says she didn't answer the lawsuit because she didn't know about it and thought her business dispute had been settled with negotiation. Ginger White says she expects to be scrutinized and attacked by Herman Cain and the media, but she felt she needed to tell her story before anyone else told it for her. Um, I didn't want to do this, but it was something that I felt at the end of the day was the right thing to do. And um, is it going to hurt a lot of people? Yes. I'm sure I will be one of them. Now on CNN tonight, even before our story aired, Herman Cain called Ginger White's statements false accusations that cannot be proved. He also called it a concocted story. His attorney, Lynn Wood, issued a very different statement to me late this afternoon, saying this is an accusation of private alleged consensual conduct, not harassment, which is not a proper subject for the, or the public.
Russ, Amanda? Well, that will be for the voters to decide. But in the meantime, uh, you said that Ginger White's friend contacted the media, including yourself. Do we have any 